In my last video, I showed the tremendous power of AI by backtesting 21 plus years of market data in six seconds with ChatGPT. Unfortunately, the trading strategy I came up with was not very good. However, this is normal when creating new trading strategies, so I spent about 30 minutes in ChatGPT doing some optimization and I improved the performance dramatically. So in this video, I'll show you how I improved the performance of that initial crappy trading strategy, but more importantly, I'll show you how I turned the improved trading strategy into a fully automated trading EA, also known as a robot for MetaTrader 4. And again, this is done all without knowing how to code. So if you don't want to get left behind in trading, it will be increasingly important that you learn the skills that I'm about to teach you in this video. But also keep in mind that there is danger when using this type of technology. So be sure to watch that part of this video also. How's it? My name is Hugh and let's start with how I improved the performance of the original trading strategy idea. A fully automated trading robot is useless if it's trading a strategy that doesn't make money. So before I created the fully automated EA, I had to improve the performance. Be sure to pay attention to this part because when you're creating your own trading strategies, you have to go through this process also. To potentially improve the strategy, I played around with a couple of ideas that ChatGPT gave me, but they didn't work out very well. So I went back to basics and I thought of my own ideas. Now the simplest thing to tweak and optimize with this strategy is the settings of these simple moving averages. So I wanted to test a bunch at the same time, so I really went for it and I asked ChatGPT to do this. Unfortunately, that crashed ChatGPT and it was unable to complete the request. Remember that AI is not as smart or as powerful as it seems. It couldn't even figure out how to do it on its own. So I had to go in there and break down the test into manageable pieces that it could handle. And that worked perfectly. Over the course of about 30 minutes, I tested a wide range of settings. And surprisingly, what came out with the best results was the 236 combination. And that is why we have to test because we never know what's going to actually work. So when you're building your trading strategies, be sure to test every single idea you can think of, no matter how crazy you think it is. Luckily, AI can speed up this process dramatically. And crazy might be a good thing because maybe nobody's ever used that idea before. Now getting back to the trading strategy, the 236 SMA combination did generate more trades, about 5.5 trades per month on average. And that's great considering that this is the daily chart. Now you might not think that's enough trades, but consider this, that's only one market. Now what if this trading strategy works in 10 different markets? Now to take it a step further, what if it also works on multiple timeframes? You'll have considerably more trades there also. And if you pair this with a trading robot that automates all or part of the trading, then this can be huge. I hope you're starting to see the value of what I'm showing you in this video. Before I move on to building the EA with ChatGPT, subscribe if you want to get more videos like this on how to build your own trading strategies, how to build your own robots, and subscribing is free, so why not? Now here's the part you've probably been waiting for. I'm going to show you how to turn this strategy into a MetaTrader 4 EA. And because this strategy is so simple, this is going to be crazy fast. Remember, this is for educational purposes only and is not meant to be traded live. There's still a lot more testing that we have to do with this strategy. However, when we build a EA like this for MetaTrader 4, it really speeds up the process. Now here's how to create the fully automated MetaTrader 4 EA using ChatGPT. You don't need to know how to code. At least in this example, ChatGPT will do all of the work for you. It's actually pretty amazing. So the best thing to do here is to open ChatGPT in one window and then have MetaTrader in the other window so it's easy to copy and paste and then just paste them into ChatGPT and ask it to make an EA for you. Now, if you want to use this example that I'm doing here, this is for educational purposes only. Remember, this is not for live trading. But if you want to get this complete prompt that I'm using for this uh, EA, then you can go to my site, link in the description below, and you can just copy and paste that into ChatGPT and that will get you started really quickly. So I'm going to do that here and I'm going to paste that into there. And I'm going to say, please create an expert advisor for MetaTrader 4 that executes these rules. And I put the rules from the trading strategy in there. And I'm going to hit enter. And it's going to think for a little bit. Okay, so that just took a few seconds. It spit out the code. So I'm just going to go to the top here. And I'm going to copy. And then I'm going to jump over to MetaTrader. And then I'm going to hit this little button at the top here. That one opens the meta quotes editor and that's what you're going to use to create the ea so hit that and this will open now i'm going to create a new one 
by hitting the new button there. EA is going to give me this wizard that's going to help me build it, but I don't need this because I already have the code. So I'm just going to select expert advisor next. I'm going to call this a 236 SMA system. I'm going to hit next. And then you can just leave all this stuff blank because it doesn't matter. And it'll give you a template code here. So just click on this window, hit control all to select all backspace to delete, and then just paste the code that ChatGPT gave you. So from here, you just have to compile the code. All that does is it turns this code, which is human readable, into a code that is machine readable. And that's what MetaTrader will start to use for the EA. So to do that, hit the compile button at the top here. And then you're looking down here to see um, if there are any issues. So if you have any errors, the program will not compile and you can't use it. But these are just warnings, so it can be used. However, I'm just going to go back and uh, clean this up to make sure that it's the cleanest code possible. So I'm going to go back to ChatGPT, simply ask it to fix these errors. I'm going to hit enter there. And as you can see, it will go back through the code and fix it. OK, so it looks like it's all fixed. So I'm going to copy this code again right there. I'm going to go back to MetaTrader, Control A to select all, backspace to delete, and then Control V to paste. And then I'm going to compile it again. And there we go, zero warnings, zero errors. So now this is a working MetaTrader EA. So now when I go back to MetaTrader 4 and I go to the expert advisors in the navigator window, the 236 SMA strategy is going to be there. So I can find a chart here to put it on. I'm going to drag it onto the chart and it's going to show me all of the inputs and the uh, common settings. So you want to make sure that allow live trading is checked there so that it takes some trades. And on inputs, you can just leave the default unless you want to change those settings. So for now, we'll just leave that B, hit OK. And then in the upper right corner of the screen, you should see uh, the 236 SMA, and there should be a happy face. If it's not smiling and it's a sad face, then you're going to have to click on this button here for auto trading. Make sure the auto trading button is selected right there, and that will allow the EA to start taking trades. Now, since the EA itself isn't drawing the indicators on there, it helps to put the indicators on the chart. So I'm going to go into the indicators. I'm going to go to trend, uh, moving average, and then I'm going to put in the two. And then I'll put in the 36, make that a different color. Okay. And now I can see what's happening on the chart relative to what my EA is supposed to be doing. Now, if you don't want to go through the process of creating your own EAs and you just want to buy some pre-made custom indicators and EAs, then check out my shop at store.tradingheroes.com. And those are all EAs and indicators that I've personally tested. Link in the description below. All right, now back to the tutorial. Once ChatGPT has generated the code and I've installed it in my MT4 demo account, now I'm going to test it in real time. A huge warning here, so pay attention. You cannot take this trading strategy or any other trading strategy that you just created and trade it in a live account. AI can hallucinate, so it's up to you to double check what it's telling you. I once asked ChatGPT to give me the top five online thought leaders in a certain field of expertise. Three of the people it gave me did not even exist. It's still early days for AI, so there are a lot of bugs to be worked out. However, if you learn how to use this technology now, you'll be way ahead of the curve once this technology matures. Now, another reason why your trading strategy might not be working the way you expected is because maybe you didn't communicate it clearly to ChatGPT. So again, it's essential that you double check your trading strategy multiple times, and that begins with testing it in an MT4 demo account. Now, testing an EA in real time can take quite a while, especially if it doesn't trade too often. So in future videos, I'll show you how to dramatically speed up the process and double check what ChatGPT is telling you. In those videos, you'll also learn how to test your strategy quickly in other timeframes and other markets. Like I mentioned before, this is the key to making big money because although the results might not be too impressive in one market, if you trade it across multiple markets and multiple timeframes, the returns can be substantial. Or the results in other markets and other timeframes could be completely terrible, and by testing, you will save yourself a lot of money by not trading those markets and timeframes. Leave a comment below if you have any questions about this, and as soon as I publish that testing video, you'll see it coming up next.